If you sew them with oh. like something in, in, insert inside as well, so that after COVID, yes. don't need the mask, you can use make bra. So. Sorry? <laughs> what did you say? I'm definitely going to rewatch this part to see what I missed. <laughs> Hi guys, welcome to another episode on Team NLC. Today I have a little quiz, little challenge for two of my friends. One of them is Senior Minister of State Sim N, and the other is the CEO of Ninja Ben Chang Wen. Today we're gonna talk a little bit more about our joint initiative, SG Pace It Forward, but more importantly, I'm gonna be asking them questions to see if their answers are good. Introduce yourself, guys. Hi, hi, Sylvia. Hi, Changwen. I'm Sim N. Nice to meet everyone. Hello, Changwen here. Sylvia's a lot more animated than I remember. It's gonna be very hard to follow up with your energy. No, it's gonna be fine. Okay, but one question before we start. Okay, this is gonna be a trivia quiz. Okay, and you guys will have a chance to chat. Da. Okay. To, to like raise your hands and say you wanna answer the question first. There's no right and wrong, but obviously I will judge you guys based on your answers, and I'll give you guys points. Okay. And before we start, how do I call you? Do I call you SMS? Do I call you Sim N? Do I call you Babe? What is the easy term to call you? <laughs> Sim N works just fine. Oh really? Okay, she say one. So just some context here. We are all part of the YAP, which is the Youth Action Panel, which is uh, chaired by Sim N here. So Sim N, do you want to tell us a little bit more about YAP and what we do? It's a group of people who care a lot about what young people in Singapore are thinking about. They have different kinds of expertise, as you can tell. We have come together to help Singaporeans for young people articulate a vision for Singapore in 2025. Right, that is a very long sentence but you made it in one sentence. And Chang Wen, we have started a ground-up initiative called SG Pay Sit Forward. Tell me in one sentence what is it about? Pay okay, to the website, you sit down and you photo your friends and this will allow needy households to get all the sanitary equipment they require. Okay, that is a shorter answer. I like short answers. Okay, now, it's been a while since all of us met in a YAP meeting, right? And uh, I think we can do a little ice breaking, even though it's on Zoom, okay? So, the first challenge for both of you is you must take turns without a break to compliment each other. So, you've got to say really nice things about each other because you know why in tough times like this, we need to support one another, correct? Completely agree. Okay, so you will start first. And then once you finish your sentence, Chang Wen will have to say his piece and then your piece and whoever is the first to stop with a compliment loses and Simen, you start and go. Chang Wen, you're dynamic, you're driven and you have built your own business into something that many people admire. So I think that you are someone who very much deserves to be on our panel and to inspire others. Well, you comment so many into one, ah. I go one word by one word, the thing that you will lose. So, you're very sincere. Bring it on, bring it on. You're very sincere. That's it, sincere. Simon, your turn again. Very effective with what you do. Great communicator. I love how caring you are. I hope that we can inspire many more young people to start their own businesses like you. I wish I could be as genuine as you are all the time. Hey, what is I wish? Well, I admire your energy. Yes, I want to be as proactive as you all the time. You know, in pushing all these initiatives. <laughs> no, we are running out of adjectives. And yeah. I think very importantly, you know, I love the vision that uh, you have sketched out uh, for Singapore, which is for everybody to be able to take part in e-commerce. In yeah, any vision we have, we always take guidance from the government, from you, because we take the lead from you all the time. <laughs> Not at all, not at all. I think it is people like you who drive forward, who look forward to your generation for the best ideas. Thank you. Hey, there is a again, Jalila. <laughs> okay, there is. No, 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 I'm just... This is just seeing how you guys can feed off each I other. I think we now have to compliment our host for her Sorry? caringness, for her compassion, and also, I think, you know, always thinking about how to inspire young people. Okay, so for the... Part one, I think I'll give you guys one point each. And the next question here is, who is the most charitable person on this meeting? Raise your hands if you want to answer first. Oh, okay. Demand, go. Okay, I'm going to say, so I think that charity is not a competition. So, um, I don't think any of us are the most charitable. But what we want is to get more and more people interested in doing good. If we do that, I think we would have won. Wow. <laughs> Chawan, you want to beat that answer? Nah? I'll give you a chance. I better shut up. Nah. I don't, don't think I have any good answer today. Okay, so one point for part two goes to SMS, Sim, and... Part three, okay? What is the most expensive 
but one of the most useful items for households to have during COVID-19. Don't shit your answer. Ah. This must be based on NEA's recommended list. Ah. Try one. The disinfectant solution. Because I know how much it costs. Ah. You know how many of those packs I've packed or not? Why? How much do you think it is on retail? $14. <gasps> Oh! Correct. Correct, correct. <laughs> and Simem, what do you think is the most expensive item? Well, um, I think it is uh, the disinfectant that you're packing, but I think it's very important for us to be very conscious not to touch surfaces uh, and then touch our face. So I think generally for everyone of us to get into the habit uh, of not just cleaning our hands regularly, but also uh, cleaning surfaces in our homes, um, I think that is something which is very good uh, to maintain health and safety within our own home environment. Correct. And the reason why we have it in a care pack, Changwen, let me just remind you, is that some of these vulnerable communities don't have the means to buy it and therefore it is one of the top priorities in our care pack. No, no, I all, all I am, I just pack and deliver. I don't <laughs> Tell me lah, learn from you. So, this point goes to... How ah? Who gets the point ah? Goes you, to you lah. I think yes, this point goes to the host. So, zero points to both my party. Now, we talk about us uh, staying at home, keeping safe at home a lot, right? So, during this circuit breaker, what is three skills that each of you have picked up? I have uh, learned to sew using my daughter's sewing machine. Wait, girl. So now girl. I can sew masks. Yes. Wait, Chang-Wen, do you see not on her IG? She's sewing masks, all fancy fancy one, you know. Really? Like, oh, floral wow. one. Pattern, pattern one. Okay, okay, sewing, sewing. Good. Okay, I've seen your proof. What other two skills have you picked up? Okay, I go for my first one, then I give you time. Okay, okay, okay. The, I've learned how to pack things very quickly in a type of style. So when I do the care pack, you must put two bottles side by side, like that. Then you must put the hand soap in the middle, so it's a pyramid. Yes. Then you must be diagonal, and you fold each corner over and you squash it. Yes. I can do it damn fast now. Yeah? So in terms of skill, I picked up. Okay, packing skill. skills. Okay. What's your second skill that you picked up, Simen? Skype. <laughs> Zoom. <laughs> Never had to do these video calls before, but uh, yeah, a bit of a learning curve, getting better at it. Okay, okay, very good. Like, I like your background also, very clean. Not like Chang Wen's, like what is going on in his background. But He's what... keeping it real. <laughs> <laughs> what is the second skill, Chang Wen? Cooking rice. So previously, you didn't know how to cook rice? Go to the type store and buy the rice. Uh. Oh. Now that it's a lot harder than you can cook it at home. Right, so you finally learn how Finding to... the right mix of water to rice is not easy. It's, it's really not that tough, but okay, Ken. And finally, what's your third skill, Simen? Now I make my own videos oh. to communicate on Facebook, uh, on social media. So, you know, recently we did this Sing Together Singapore. So I had residents send me snippets of them singing in different parts of our neighbourhood. Um, and then I sort of tried to stitch it together in a video for everyone. Just to thank them for, you know, having sent me the person. Wow! Okay, this skill is quite practical. I have a lot to learn. I have a lot to learn, so... But, uh, but it's a start. Right, it is a good start. It's better than cooking rice. What's your third skill, Chang Wen? Do you want this point or not? Oh, this one, you will definitely like it. What? The third and most important skill I've learned is that in any video call, always wear shorts because you never know when you get asked to stand up. <laughs> ah! They're very important skill. People always think that in video calls, you need to sit at top. And you never know when you should stand up. <laughs> and when you set up, you have no shots on, it's a big problem. It is a big problem and so are your answers. The point goes to Sim N <laughs> for part 4. What the hell is wearing shorts? I thought, I thought Chang Wen deserved that point too. <laughs> what? Wear pants is a point? No. My goodness, that is a basic human skills you need to have after you shower and put on clothes. Now that we're all staying home 24-7, right? What habit of yours annoys your family the most? And tell me the details. It's mm -hmm. when I tell my kids, come and help mom take a video. <laughs> so I mentioned I'm not like, you know, I'm not 100% independent. I can do some stuff, but some might need help. Like, like so what kind yep. of things you need help? Okay, I'm really bad at um, playing around with this tripod. Uh, I've got a tripod in front of me. Um, so my, my son helps me with it. He's my... Um, general tech help desk. Wow. Uh, or sometimes you will help me sort of like, you know, adjust lights and wow. stuff like that. Wow. Well Professional. <laughs> yeah, no wonder she's very well lit. Okay, okay, okay. Got to, got to train them, right? Skills future and all that. You should send them to Sylvia's uh, filming crew. 
going to be very I want to send them to be Sylvia's intern. <laughs> hey, yes, please. I also need intern for also household chores also open. Uh, to <laughs> cook my meals also ready. One day I shall inflict them upon you, Sylvia. Uh, yes, yes. I don't mind. I don't mind. Anybody, you are welcome. Chang Wen, what's an annoying habit? I leave my dog with my girlfriend. So maybe my most annoying habit is keep wondering what the next meal will be. Because nothing to do. Uh, just keep thinking about dinner and the fact that you cannot go out and eat anymore. I don't know how to very lousy cook. Uh -huh. I keep bugging my girlfriend to know what's the next meal. Does she cook for you or then you get her to order it? Both. And I think that's what's frustrating. Because I negotiate how many dishes you have left after that because she cooks, I clean her. So oh. I need to know how you're cooking and what you're cooking. If not, I have to clean a lot. Then if there's too much to clean after that, then I renegotiate and say, never mind, bro. maybe cook something else. Right. Being a typical, useless uh, house husband type. So I will give you the point. I clean it. Hello. <laughs> you hear that? I clean it. Next question. Part number six. I'm very happy that uh, you have your children to annoy at home. And I'm very happy that you are helping your girlfriend uh, clean up. But I think that means that a lot of us are actually at home with our loved ones. And there are many vulnerable communities that are facing difficulties in this pandemic. So, the next question is, name one community effort that benefits a vulnerable community. I know what you're gonna say! No, no, so, so I, I, I've seen something very interesting recently. I'm very bad at names, I forgot the names. But it's about the NTU student and the one who's just cooking for a lot of vulnerable families, providing food for them. And that initiative took a life of its own and that was amazing because when they started with a certain target and the whole community really just piled in it was easy to understand it was very easy to support very tangible and you kept seeing how that kept rolling on and you know, I think that was that was really very heartening to see so many Singaporeans come in that way right so you don't know the name but you got the idea la. okay the idea is there okay and Cement we have a lot of uh, very good initiatives uh, many of uh, which was started by young Singaporeans as well. Uh, we have, for instance, our Team Singapore Athletes. Uh, they've been delivering used laptops to children from disadvantaged backgrounds so that they can do their home-based learning. Uh, we also have people from Youth Corps Singapore who are helping vulnerable families um, with uh, tasks uh, that they need uh, done. Uh, at the same time, uh, there's a project that I've been involved in, Project Lanja, and that's about uh, getting donations from the public uh, so that catered meals can be provided for vulnerable groups, uh, particularly at this time, our migrant workers. Uh, I've also been involved in Mask Force, uh, which is about uh, getting uh, donations, both in cash and in kind, so that we can distribute mask kits to 870,000 migrant workers as well as our foreign domestic helpers. Right, and naturally, the point goes to Simen because she managed to name a few. And the next question is, besides volunteering our time and contributing donations, right? What is a fun thing that we all can do during circuit breaker? Suggestion? I actually recommend oh. that people sew masks. Give it a try, give it a try. Even if you don't have a sewing machine, you can try sewing by hand. I just want to be honest here. I think the question here is, what's a fun thing to do? It is fun, it's fun. Hey, let me show you the ones I made. Hey, fun is in the eyes of the people. The you cannot judge what's fun or not. So this is like Singapore theme motifs. You might recognize this. Ah, there you go. Can you see that? That's the Tiong Baru landscape. Okay. Oh, wow, she got different different design. Yeah. Eh. Pranakan tile. You should sew them with like oh. something in, insert inside as well. So that after COVID, yes. only the mask you can use to make bars. So. Sorry? <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> you can use to make bars. So. <laughs> Chang Wen, since you laugh at people's masks. I didn't laugh at doing masks, I laughed at what the mask could be used for in the future so we do not waste. Because you know part of the vision as well is to be very sustainable in our, in our, our environment. <laughs> I'm definitely going to rewatch this part to see what I mean. <laughs> I haven't heard your answer. What's a fun thing every Singaporean can do during CV? Okay, so, so I found something quite fun to myself. I'm not sure you find it fun. But I have been, I've been doing gardening because you can garden anywhere. In your toilet, as you can. Find the right plant. Mm, mm, mm. It can be quite satisfying. After, after CV, you look at plants and say this is a CV plant. What are you planting, Chang Wen? It's a fiddle leaf fig. It's a small fig. Big plants, quite Great. nice. Huh. But the beauty is that you can cut off branches and you can plant the branch. Oh! Wait, wait, I show you, I show you. You show your master. Yeah, yeah, show us your plant. Hey, I also want to show what, what, what's this show and tell. I didn't ask for show and tell, but I'm you also. See, you see, you can make this plant. Sis! Is, is this leaf? Wow! So the, the key I have now is after CB, will this be alive or will it be dead? Because you know, 
So which is enough for you to root. So much in roots in terms of life. As you can tell, you have actually plant, right? a real gardener here. I'm going to tell you, uh, that fiddle uh, fig is not easy for a beginner, yeah? It will die uh, by CBN. I've got six of these, I slip snip all the trees and put inside the pot. Okay, since Chang Wen has the same hobby as me, I'm going to give this point to him. That <laughs> is more fun than sewing <laughs> masks. <laughs> To me, to me. Tell us, how can youths play a bigger part for the community during COVID-19? Young people have a lot of good ideas, but I think very importantly, they have skills that are very useful, uh, especially during this period where so many things are disrupted. For instance, youths are digital natives. You can help someone in your family, for instance, uh, go online. I mean, I know my kids are helping me. Um, with you know various apps that I might not be so familiar with. Um, that's a big plus. And also, uh, before you um, uh, jump into uh, any fundraising activity, uh, check out charities.gov.sg. Um, there are a lot of good guidelines, a lot of useful information. Uh, and we hope that, you know, after our young people look at the information, then they know how to get started correctly. Okay, and tell what your answer is. A lot of these initiatives take its root in a lot of this community work and a lot of this education we've done. But I think what really amplifies a lot of this is the kind of social context that relationships we've had, which is forged through such events when we're all able to meet. So like me and Silver, we met in YAP. Before this, I don't think I would ever have known you or reached out to you to say, why don't we try SG Basic Power together? It was really because of all these events which FCY and SMS launched, where kind of like-minded people got to know each other. And it is when you give these groups of people the kind of freedom, the kind of challenge out there that they come together and they think of such great ideas. Because by myself, I would never have been able to do all this. But it's really putting us together, playing to our strengths, our ideas coming together, led to something a lot more interesting. So okay, my point would be, get together with like-minded people and together you can do so much more. Wow, I actually heard a serious answer. I'm actually quite touched. So please support our SG Pace It Forward and finally, finally, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the SG Pace It Forward Dance Challenge. Okay, so if you guys don't know, right, we are upgrading our campaign with a little viral dance and we have the music written and uh, sang by Nathan Hatono and the dance is also by uh, Riley. I'll just show you guys the song right here and the little dance and then I'm going to teach you guys the step and whoever wins will win today's trivia challenge quiz, okay? SG Basic Forward Pay for a pack, show that you care Sit tight at home and then stay there stay Forward it over to all your friends Oh my goodness, it looks very acrobatic Okay, Sima, I just want to tell you why we decided to do this uh, song and dance, okay? We have the microsite up, we have all the systems up, we have the delivery up, we have people donating. And then one day, uh, I was discussing with Chang Wen. He was the one who said that we should do a dance. And I also have a private video of him doing the first draft of the dance. It's a very, very bad dance. But after I saw the dance, I had inspiration and I said, you know what, let's just make it into a proper TikTok IG dance challenge. So we have to credit this idea to him. Okay, we're just gonna do the hand movements, okay? Because, you know, Zoom is difficult to dance, correct? And I'm not sure whether Chang Wen is wearing pants. <laughs> SG pace it forward, right? You actually exit the frame first. And then when SG uh -huh. pays it forward, you enter the frame. So you pay twice, $25 only. Pay for a pack, show, point to the front, show that you care. Oh, that was good. Okay. okay, sit tight at home and then stay there. This is slightly difficult. And it's a cross. Then, stay there. So forward it over, we do like that. <laughs> One hand only <laughs> to all your friends, right and then left, right, okay. and then S G like a strong motion. S G, pace it forward and you exit the frame. <laughs> okay. Did we get it? S G, come in. You guys are so slow. S G, pace it forward. Pay for a pack. Show that you care Sit tight at home and then stay there Forward it over to all your friends S G S G That was so bad! 
Okay, with that, I think they've successfully or not so successfully learned the dance. I think a lot of you watching can do a lot better. So we look forward to see your videos on SG Page Sit Forward, the hashtag. Thank you guys for joining my Zoom meeting. The score is 6 to 6. And what that means is that the combined score is 12. It means that for today's Zoom meeting, we're going to be donating 12 more care packs on the website SG Pays It Forward to thank people for watching that horrible dance. Any last words you want to say? Thank you for the opportunity to let our youth join us on this journey, be heard, be empowered and also be the change. Thank you, you all. This is my first ever recorded video. I hope it's fun. And thanks so much, SMS, for agreeing to Sylvia and all these other things she's asking us. No, oh, thank you. Thank you, Sylvia. Thank you, Chawan. And we're all very relieved that you did wear pants. <laughs> Don't worry. Don't worry. It's the one thing I learned during CB. <laughs> Take care, guys. Bye. Stay safe, everyone. Stay safe, everyone. Thanks guys for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed a little bit and also learned something. If you're interested to help out the initiative, you can head to sgpaysitforward.com. You can buy a care pack and obviously forward this initiative to all your friends. And if you're looking for something fun to do, the dance challenge is out now so you can go learn. And I look forward to see your dance moves on IG and on TikTok. We'll be donating 12 care packs to the initiative and we hope you do so too. And remember to click here for more and click here to subscribe. Bye-bye. Stay safe.